Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a quick review of the Sound Search app that comes with Android Jelly Bean. Uh, the reason I have this possible before uh, the Nexus 7 tablet is out uh, and running on my Galaxy S2 is because it was ripped on XDA. Um, so this is a full proper working of Sound Search that comes with Android 4.1. Uh, what I'll do is show you how it works and do a quick comparison compared to SoundHound. Okay. So I'm actually going to search for a song. I, I'm not going to have audio playing because it'll cause trouble for me on YouTube. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll play it just now and then I'll show you how it works. This app is only usable as a widget. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's, there's no shortcut for it. Um, hopefully Google will update that because I know that might be a little annoying for some users, but it's only a widget. And you must have, of course, have Wi-Fi or data connection in order to make this work. Okay, so let me play an audio clip and then I'll show you how quickly it searches. Okay, so it, it took a little while. Um, it did find the song. As you can see, it, it's an indie group, so they're not that well known. So the fact that they found it, or this app found the group and artist and uh, song name, is quite impressive. But let's do the exact same song with SoundHound instead, and uh, see how that fares. Okay, so I'm gonna mute the audio, and I'm gonna tap the search now button, even though it's extremely bright. But well, you get the picture. So let's do that now. Okay, SoundHound found it way faster, probably a, th a half or a third of the amount of time. Um, and it gives you a lot more information when the song is released, tour dates, yada yada yada. Um, and you, you can have a saved list of uh, searched songs. Actually, that's not right. They updated the app. Here we go. So these are all the songs I've searched for in the past. Whereas SoundSearch only stores one at a time and what that's basically what is being displayed in the widget and this is what happens when you tap on that song title it'll take you to the Google Play Store and try to find it in there so you can purchase the song I assume it's not working right now because it can't find it in the Google Play Store so basically this is my assumption right now because the song isn't too well known and the artist it knows what the artist and uh, song name is but it can't find it as a music result in Google Play because it's not available. So it has some major flaws. Like the fact that it's free, sure, it's another sound searching app, it's great, but it has no storage capacity to save a save list. And it's basically Google's way of making money. You can't really blame them because they I'm pretty sure they do make a little profit off of songs sold on Google Play. It's basically their way of helping you find songs but and then purchase it through Google Play. So like I said, it's it's profit making for Google, but you can't blame them because, well, I mean, they make awesome stuff, right? So, I mean, it's it can't substitute Shazam or SoundHound. It, it simply can't. But if you want another app, you know, if there's a song really great, it's playing, and the other two aren't finding it, you never know. Maybe this will possibly find it, but it's not that great. So, I mean, if I had to rate the app, I'll give it like a two out of five. But considering that it's a system application that comes with Jelly Bean, technically I shouldn't really rate it, right? But um, yeah, something to check out, maybe play with and see how you feel. There's not much else to it. I mean, there's nothing really else to show you because that's all the app does. So if you found this video useful, hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe to my channel or check out my website for technology news and rumors. And thanks for watching.